So, I guess it's time to do a video about abortion. Um, and be sure, by the way, to like, share, and subscribe uh, if you do find what's uh, in here useful. And financially support me, if you want, uh, with the links in the description. Because if I ever do get enough subscribers to... Um, <laughs> If I ever do get enough subscribers to get monetized, this video won't be. Um, and uh, neither will any of my others, basically, because I talk about verboten subjects. Which is why, also, if you haven't already, um, you should feel free to follow me on uh, Odyssey. Because that's a blockchain-based video sharing platform, and uh, YouTube like will scan your video for any sort of offensive content. And if they deem your video to be uh, against their, their stupid dogma, uh, they will uh, suppress it and or remove your channel. Uh, they've, they've silenced and censored a ton of people. Like, look at the act man who literally just criticized another YouTuber. And because he used stuff that the other YouTuber had, the other YouTuber could strike his channel. And he's now, like, basically suspended, effectively, from like making money on the platform from a wide variety of other things but the guy he criticized is not so that's fucking hilarious but either way um youtube hypocrisy and uh tyranny aside because we shouldn't be surprised it's a cia funded platform at least partially um like the general thing that i want to get across here today is that you know, I don't, I normally don't go moderate on any sort of issue, and I'm pretty much not moderate on this issue either, but a bunch of people are going to accuse me of being moderate because they can't handle the fact that I say that both sides have some kind of point. You know, yeah, maybe we should be concerned for women who have been raped, victims of incest, pedophilia, Things like that. People with ectopic pregnancies and other, you know, um, life-threatening things. Yeah, if the mother is going to die, it's reasonable to protect the mother from that human uh, in the same way that it's reasonable to protect the mother from any other human who is going to result in her dying. Um, that seems like a totally reasonable point. There's also the libertarian argument of evictionism, but I'm not going to get into that because honestly, I think a lot of people just use that to excuse irresponsibility like, and treat it like it's just nothing more than a parasite or a house guest or something when it's actually a much more complicated, nuanced situation than that. And, you know, oh, it's just a clump of cells. Yeah, you're a clump of cells too. Everything's a clump of something clumping is the fucking way life works so it's a dumb argument it's all very there's dumb arguments on both sides there's good arguments on both sides nobody really knows when life begins um unless you use a religious argument which says it just begins at conception but it's certainly not you know anything less than arbitrary that it's like not life before the fucking uh abortion but like if you get born suddenly you are like that's basically an argument that anybody who was a preemie wasn't quite alive yet like no it's it's not that simple none of this is simple for either side to answer and i think that's a valuable thing to get out of the way but then's when i get into some territory here that's probably going to piss off a significant amount of people because abortion, 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 it's been trending, trending, trending for a significant period of time. And maybe the fact that a bunch of people are suddenly now active on the same issue, the fact that a bunch of people are now suddenly active for, um, you know, <laughs> this reason rather than a ton of other reasons is a sign of hypocrisy and it's a sign that you know maybe there's a systemic problem in american politics um so that's been my argument for this issue for a significant period of time um but you know it, it's reached a fever pitch now because roe versus wade was overturned 
and I get that, right? Let's just say this, though. I've seen a lot of people posting a lot of stuff that's like, hey, look at this world. Look at this world. This world sucks right now. Look at all these reasons the world sucks. Um, that's what Republicans want for your kid when they're born. No. Um, you know, oh yeah, we'll protect you in the womb, but once you're out of the womb, you'll get like uh, cuts to kids' programs, cuts to mothers' programs. Uh, school, you can't buy meals. Your economy is in decline, housing crisis, fucking student debt, school shootings. Like, like all that is just Republicans' fault. Like, like Democrats didn't equally sort of cohabitate the halls when those decisions were made. Um, you know, and like the whole system isn't designed so that decisions like that can be made. But like, you know... And just secondarily to all that, there are some real, like, legitimate leftist rebels who actually give a shit about this, who recognize that for years, Democrat politicians have been promising to codify Roe vs. Wade, and somehow they fucking didn't. So maybe the problem is that, like... Your politicians who allegedly have the power and who were allegedly elected to do something like that didn't fucking do it, did they? So you're left with two options. Two. Either your elected politicians don't give enough of a fuck about you to use their power that the state will totally grant them to go against whatever the state's wishes are. You know, whatever the overarching sort of control matrix is that's option one or you don't have a fucking choice and the state isn't under your control and the state isn't going to do what you say because you beg enough or scribble enough on enough paper Maybe the system is under control. Maybe the system has been under control for a long time now. And maybe your politicians that you claim are on your side, no evidence, by the way, unless your side is for the sycophantic evil, military, intelligence, prison, you know, indoctrination, pharmaceutical. I could keep on going on industrial complexes that pervade everything you know i mean if that's your camp sure they're on your side and i'm against your side because you're a piece of shit you know for for the past two and and, and basically a half years the state has been grabbing more and more and more and more power due to a virus. And policy has been dictated by a group of people connected to the people who funded the lab that this might have come from. And I only say might have because I don't want this to get suppressed. Allegedly! Even though we all know what I believe if you go to uh, agoristnexus.com. You can read my article on the Great Reset, Exploiting Disease for Profit and Power. It's a good article. Sort of like the other articles I wrote on there that people ignore. But I digress. The general vibe here is that they've been getting more and more control. And the same general group of people who is now saying that medical freedom is a requirement... And that people should be able to choose what goes and stays in their body. Those are oftentimes the same people who were proposing mandates for what goes in people's body. And mandates for how they use their body. 
and empowering this state structure to recognize that the people are in enough control that they can make decisions like this and get away with it. Same with guns, right? How can you... How can you, a fucking liberal status quo enjoyer, how can you tell me no justice, no peace, black lives matter, all these sorts of like floaty things, and then go on to support legislation which has historically been designed to disarm black people and which was used by a guy who hyper-funded Democrat candidates, Mike Bloomberg, to, quote, throw them up against the wall, talking about minority communities, because that's where you find the guns and the drugs. That's what Mike Bloomberg said. And Twitter regularly puts his fucking newspaper on the goddamn trending pages with its event editorializing section. He's a piece of fucking garbage with a greater net worth than Trump, yet you only mock rich white men when it suits you! Limousine liberals, I fucking promise. And you wonder why we live in a country ruled by them? Well, maybe because the candidates selected by these people, the candidates funded by rich fucks like that, the status quo enablers who, you know, wrote massive cram bills in the fucking Patriot Act, maybe those people don't care about your autonomy! And maybe the whole fucking system is wrong. Maybe this abortion thing is just the latest in a long train of abuses that's worked into the system which demands and relies on profit and power for its subsistence. Maybe state capitalism is the problem, you know? Maybe all these industrial complexes shouldn't be industries or complexes. And maybe this is just the latest nail in the coffin of human freedom. Hmm? Maybe we need anarchy, not more Democrats! Maybe Republicans aren't the demons that you say they are, unless you're demons too. Because everybody has been piloting the same ship in the same direction for a long fucking time, and your guys didn't codify it when they could. Why didn't they do that? Did they not care about you in the same way that you say the other side doesn't care about you? Why aren't you doxing them? Which, by the way, don't dox people! As somebody who has repeatedly uh, had attempts at my family being doxed, and who has seen multiple cases very recently of people uh, online saying that, hey, yeah, my number was shared. My information was shared. And it wasn't a congressman. I can tell you that all doxing is, is trusting somebody else's information and spreading it blindly. Keeping the fighting very much horizontal in your class. Not doing anything to get anything done about the people who actually control shit. That's where we are. And you think putting yourself on a watch list or getting yourself into a legally compromised situation by using an app like TikTok or Discord or something, which has your IP and a bunch of other information because Tencent has been scraping those apps so that they can send this information to the CCP. Oh, and by the way, it's also partially uh, owned by BlackRock, who like fucking is another group of rich white people who are controlling a shit ton of shit. But that doesn't seem to matter when it's something you like. I'm digressing again. The point is that when 
when you post this information, all you're doing is saying, arrest me. Please arrest me. I'll put out my, my hands for the cuffs right now. Arrest me. I want to be arrested so bad. Because you're saying that when you release this illegal information targeting politicians with your IP attached to it. You're, you're practicing shit-ass OPSEC and you think the other guys are the stupid regressive ones? Like, let's be clear here. That's not any better than the people who broke into the Capitol and posted all that shit to Parler. It's not any smarter. And it could get somebody innocent hurt. Which you don't seem to give a fuck about. Doxing people. Spreading information that you can't verify. You know? Like, let's be real, just super clear and obvious here. This kind of activism, slacktivism, does not work. It didn't work before, it won't work now, and the Democrats that you put in are going to, you know, resort in more deaths of minorities, resort in more cr uh, result in more crime, you know? They're going to resort, uh, result in more police pursuing more crime. Biden increased the police budget. Let me repeat that. Biden increased the police budget. Let me repeat that. Biden increased the police budget. Biden increased the military budget. Biden increased the military budget. And he has been sending tens of billions of dollars to military industrialists for this proxy war. A lot of it going directly to Nazi groups. Biden had big pharma donors. Here's a little bit of fucking discrepancy for you here. Let's talk about the fact that Biden claimed to be out of the pocket of big oil, but his family's in natural gas. And let's talk about the fact that Biden, um, you know, he said that he wouldn't take oil contributions to his campaign. And that was his statement, right? I'll return it if you're an oil billionaire. But you know what he didn't return? Like 43 billion, sorry, 43 million from like Big Pharma. I wonder why. I wonder why he wouldn't return a huge amount of money from Big Pharma. You know, right before he came in and I can't, I can't continue. I'm, I'm a traitor, wrong thinker, terrible. I can also talk about how your Democratic politicians, your precious Pelosi and co., are constantly cited by investment people, investment experts, because if you want a good trend to get in on, you should follow what they do, because they're corrupt and evil. You know where all the attention is? Abortion. You know where all the attention was? Russia. You know where all the attention was? Republicans on January 6th. You know where all the attention was? <clears throat> everything that doesn't matter. Everything that's going to enable the current status quo that you claim to hate. You think abortion is, is the red line here? You think Roe v. Wade is the, is, is the red line here? I got news for you. If that's your red line, you already lost everything. Because all they have to do is unreverse the decision and you'll be placated and you'll go back to saying jack fucking shit about goddamn anything else. And you'll shit on people like me for being regular proponents of this sort of thing. All while claiming bodily autonomy and sacrificing the bodily autonomy of everyone who has been sacrificed to prop up this evil system that you only say shit about when it personally affects you.
And if it's not you I'm talking about, fine. Don't listen to me. Turn off the video. Thumb it down. If you know somebody who I'm talking about, don't do any of that. Like, share, and subscribe. And feel free to financially support me if you want. I need subscribers on places so that I can keep on eating and uh, living. You know, so that I can keep on making messages like this. Because I have been consistently anti-war, anti-police, anti-corporation, anti-bank, anti-everything that makes this system able to do this sort of thing. You know who hasn't? Many of my critics, some of whom have tried to dox me, some of whom are trying to get me censored off of social media platforms. That's where we are. And I've been watching this for over, like, a decade now. I've been in the content space for a really long fucking time. And I've seen this inconsistent bullshit brewing. So I figured I would just say something about it, you know? How can you expect justice or peace when you keep these people in charge and discredit anyone who goes against their narratives? If you have, in a negative context, used the word hesitant once in the past two years, shut the fuck up about bodily autonomy. If I'm not even allowed to hesitate about what goes in my body, I don't care what you want to happen to yours. Or, you know, admit you were wrong about that, become consistent and become anarchist. Because the only way out is opposing the whole system, not just the parts that affect you. I think I've made myself loud and clear. This has been Jeremiah Harding. Smash the fucking state.